We wait for that uh, fresh round of snow. Thousands are in their fourth night without power, and frustration is now turning to anger. Right now, DPNL crews say that 95% of customers are back online, but of course, that still leaves some 3,400 homes in the dark at this hour. Anthony Kiko live with one of those families right now forced to take their premature baby to a hotel. Anthony. Mark, this home in the 4,000 block of Ridgebury Drive is pitch black, but right next door, the power is on. DPNL says that's because an electrician might be needed to come out to fix some of the outages, but that's not what the owner of this home wants to hear. Jeff Carter is using a flashlight to navigate through his home for the third straight day. It's very difficult. Tuesday night, this tree branch snapped under the weight of ice and ripped this power line down. The power outage couldn't have come at a worse time for Jeff, his wife, and their brand new baby boy. He was born four weeks and three days early, and we brought him home from the neonatal ICU on Monday, and as everybody knows, the power went out on Tuesday. As the cold began to creep inside, Jeff says he was forced to take his family to a hotel. The hotel alone has been about $480, and then when you add the food, going out to get food for uh, dinners, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then the food loss in the house, say it's probably going to end up being anywhere between $800 and $1,000. Jeff has been using this generator to power a refrigerator inside his garage. Fruit, food that we you know, possibly can try and save is what I, I brought out here to the outside. Just because out in the garage it's a lot cooler, it gets kind of frustrating that nobody can help you. But until the power comes back on, it's back to the hotel. Now Jeff says he's glad that 95% of the homes that lost power have it back again now, but he hopes that no one forgets about the other 5% that's still in the dark. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, 2 News on your side.